life in our own backyard. We got the hometown showdown in the Alamo Dome for the first time ever. UTSA takes the field with UIW on the other side. The Roadrunners haven't won a football game since October 6th of last year. As for the Cardinals, Eric Morris's group looking to upset an FBS foe for the first time in school history. We were all wondering how former Clemens star Frank Harris would look for the birds in his first start. And man, oh man, did he look good. He gets the home team on the board first, finding Carlos Strickland the second, making it seven zip. But now the second quarter, UIW down 14 when the team shows some signs of life. John Copeland hits Amir King for the 11 yard tub. And we got ourselves a ball game. Cardinals would enter the breakdown 21 to 7, but then UTSA just took over. First, we take a look at true freshman Sincere Cormick, McCormick out of Judson. Look at my man rumble down the sidelines. 12 carries and 74 yards in his first game. Great stuff there, but the MVP goes to Frank Harris. The QB was living up to the hype and looking sharp. Actually, Gavin Sharp, who catches the five yard pass. Then in the fourth, the deep heave to Tyke Ogle Kellogg. Harris threw for three scores, including 120 plus yards on the ground as UTSA takes care of business, winning 35 to 7. Sports director Joe Reinagle was on hand for the hometown showdown, and he met up with the QB after his stellar first performance in the Roadrunners uniform. Frank, over 300 yards total offense for you. First of all, how did it feel just to walk back out on that football field and be able to play? Uh, it's a great honor to be out there. Uh, it's a blessing. I can't take it for granted. And uh, my old line did a great job. I give all the credit to them. My receivers did a great job. There were so many plays out there tonight that you didn't have anything, the receivers weren't open, and you took off and ran. Is that just something that comes instinctively to you? Uh, kind of, sort of, and uh, just the trust that I have, uh, that the coaches have in me and my old line, everybody uh, trusting me. So uh, it made my game uh, real easy and let me go out there and just play football. When you look at what you guys were able to do tonight, obviously there was a lot of hype around this football game. Overall, your thoughts on this football team? Oh, we did a great job. Uh, we still have a lot to improve. Uh, we came out there, executed the game plan. Uh, offense did good, defense did good, but we still got a lot to improve. And we just wanted to come out there and put a show on for San Antonio and uh, show who really ran San Antonio. Well deserved. And hey, man, congratulations and welcome back. Appreciate it's good that. to see you. Thanks. All right, Evan, this guy, eye-popping numbers here tonight. So we'll, uh, we'll celebrate tonight and look forward to Baylor tomorrow. Yes, sir. Back to you. Thank you so much, Joe. As for the other team in the hometown showdown, UIW just didn't have the horses to keep up with UTSA. Head coach Eric Morris took to the podium after the game to assess the loss. And, and they came out and they blitzed the, uh, the dog out of us, which credit to them, I mean, kind of threw us off balance, uh, got us rattled early, and I, I just never thought we were able to get out of that funk. So uh, defensively, I think, you know, we got them into some third downs, to some opportunities, third and long even, um, and I think Frank Harris was, was the X factor today. Yeah, the Clement star was just very good, and UIW had no answers as nine freshmen started on defense. The Cardinals host Texas Southern next.